It is very important that we meet again uh, after the years of COVID in Athens for the International Semantic Web Conference. Uh, this is very important for our community um, because we like to talk to each other, learn the new things that each one of us has developed, and try to do, to do joint work uh, for the future. One of the technologies uh, that have been developed by this community is uh, open link data. Open link data uh, basically means that you can have a data source, uh, let's say a map um, that describes uh, uh, an agricultural area being linked with other information about this agricultural area. For example, information about uh, the kinds of farms that are based in this area uh, and the farmers that own them. One of the most important contributions of the people that come to this conference is the development of linked data technologies. Linked data technologies are important because they allow us to open data silos and make the data that are available there open to the public. So, for example, a government, uh, a local government, let's say, might want to open uh, data about the geographical area of the city that they are responsible for and connect it to information about uh, various parts of the city. For example, information about uh, how expensive or uh, how um, uh, information, for example, about the, the value, the average value of houses in a specific area or the crime rate and things like that. Uh, so so the, it, is, it is easy uh, and, and um, important to do this using leaked data technologies. Uh, and a lot of governments and public administrations in the world today are doing this using the technologies developed in this conference, especially in Europe. So um, it is really important that this conference is taking place in Europe uh, this time. We're very happy that we have the opportunity to, to host uh, this edition of the premium, premier event of the International Semantic Web Community. It's uh, a conference uh, that uh, actually gathers all the uh, renowned researchers in the domain of, uh, of the semantic web and its applications. And uh, actually it's the first time that this community reconvenes in uh, a conference with uh, physical attendance only. So it is uh, really great to have uh, all these participants uh, from all over the world. The area of the semantic web, which is, uh, can be classified under the broader area of artificial intelligence, is uh, becoming quite important in the sense that uh, the whole domain of AI is undergoing a, a renaissance after a long uh, winter. Uh, probably everyone has heard a lot uh, about new developments uh, in artificial intelligence with large language models, chatbots, uh, chat GPT, neural networks and so on. Uh, and this uh, particular area is actually contributing in this uh, development of uh, new technologies by uh, exploiting the semantics that are being ascribed uh, to data. So the whole, uh, the whole World Wide Web uh, is flooded with uh, data of all types. The semantic web efforts ascribe uh, meaning to this data and make them processable uh, by machines. This means that it's easier to extract the value of this delta and uh, feed this value into a wide range of applications that turn out to be beneficial for the economy, the society and uh, everything. So overall, we can say that uh, the developments uh, in uh, this uh, community are accompanied by, with parallel developments in, uh, uh, in uh, neural AI uh, have given uh, rise uh, to, to new potentials for combining uh, semantic-based methods with uh, neural network-based uh, methods in order to, to achieve uh, greater results. 
We're very hopeful that uh, this line of research uh, will continue for, for many years and we'll start seeing the impact of, uh, of these uh, developments in the very near future. I'm here at the uh, International Semantic Web Conference uh, in Athens, in this nice uh, conference center. Um, it's really an exciting event. Uh, many people discussing hot issues in our part of science but also about what are the benefits of this uh, computing technology uh, for applications in business and in society. For example, healthcare is an important uh, application area where technologies discussed here can play a big role and can become a game changer. Um, more specifically, uh, this here is about uh, so-called semantic web technologies. This is a lot about modeling data in, in rigorous logical terms, using these models to process data um, in a very clean, systematic uh, manner with guarantees about what value they bring to the application. And there's a new trend in the field in general. This is uh, modern AI uh, based on uh, deep neural networks. And you all must have heard about ChatGPT and all these wonderful tools, so-called large language models. And now the question is, do these large language models take over? Are these the new game-changing technologies? Because they have shown this great, amazing behavior in, in that many of you will have experienced by, by playing with the chatbot and so on. Um, and indeed, uh, it is impressive. But there are applications that uh, still need more than just a, a chatbot. Um, language models make errors, and this is okay and tolerable in, in, in chatbots, in uh, recommender systems for simple classifiers, images, videos. Should this be recommended on YouTube or not, right? So that's, if, if uh, the model, the AI makes errors, users are forgiving. But as we think about the more important applications, like I mentioned healthcare, financial decision making, uh, analyzing data uh, about energy consumption, energy provisioning, and so on. So uh, here we need more rigorous reasoning and we need these semantic web te technologies, knowledge graphs, um, so-called ontologies, reasoning capabilities over these with guarantees about what the output is. And so the big excitement here is really how do these two technologies come together? What is needed in order to make them blend and provide uh, combined synergies and new values? Um, this is the um, prime event of the uh, community that works in uh, knowledge representation, knowledge graphs, knowledge technologies, uh, bringing together uh, for more than 20 years uh, researchers uh, and practitioners in this space. Knowledge technologies, in particular knowledge graphs, are more important than ever in this age of AI in order to um, augment existing machine learning and AI technologies um, to make them more explainable, more reliable and less prone to misinformation. This is a um, community that um, thinks very deeply um, at the intersection between um, AI and historically semantic technologies or, or the semantic web or decentralized systems. Um, and as such, um, it is no surprise that um, one of the main themes this year has been uh, large language models and generative AI and the degree to which um, they can be productively combined with knowledge technologies and knowledge graphs in order to um, augment large language models architectures um, and to make them more accurate and reliable. We have also seen an increased number of uh, publications and presentations um, proposing how foundational um foundational models and, and uh, conversational AI tools could be used meaningfully to support knowledge engineering processes. For me, this was one of the highlights. Knowledge technologies are more important than ever in this age of AI. Um, we are experiencing for many years a trend to use um, 
digital goods and public data sets um, in training uh, large AI models. This community, the Semantic Web community, has been at the forefront developing approaches and technologies to publish uh, data openly, to share it in decentralized systems. And as such, a lot of the data um, that is ingested into um, large AI models at the moment um, is published using technologies that have come out of this community. Um, at the same time, um, we are learning more and more about the social and environmental impact of uh, large language models. Knowledge technologies can help make um, these architectures and solutions more sustainable and more trustworthy. And this has a huge impact on society, especially if we're talking about misinformation and disinformation um, in, in the context of elections, in the context of scientific education, in, in, in the context of um, public debates around, around climate change and other related challenges.